Hello everyone, welcome to Mirror Sphere. Today's gonna be a weird video. I usually despise politics, but since we had the big debate last night and everybody's talking about it, debate. Really? That wasn't a debate, that was a oh, god damn it. <sighs> Alright, everybody knows if you know my channel, you know my opinion of politicians. I think they're all fucking worthless. Every single one of them is absolutely fucking corrupt and worthless. We have one second, let me turn this down so you guys don't hear my stupid fan. All right, there we go. So, my reaction to the debates. I didn't see the whole thing. I saw most of the highlights. I, I can't sit there for an hour or whatever listening to garbage. Um, I'm not a politician. I, I hate politicians. I hate people. Because right now in our country, we have a big problem. And it's not Trump. I think Trump's a loudmouth asshole douchebag. But, hey, sometimes that's who you need to lead people. Trust me, I had a lot of them in the Marine Corps. Most of my squad leaders, good ones, are the guys who are assholes. Who make sure shit gets done. So, and sometimes they're not nice as people either. But sometimes in the end, you realize sh they kept you alive. <clears throat> Anyways... Do I like everything Trump has done? No. I think Trump has done the best he can under the circumstances of what he's been up to, has to deal with. Can you imagine being an outsider who has to deal with the most corrupt dirt bags on our country, in our country, is the people in Congress and the Senate. People say that our whole country is falling apart because of Trump. No. It's because people who have been sitting on us uh, in power for over 10, 20 years in the Senate and in Congress who constantly, constantly get their seats back. You know, like Kamara Harris, uh, fucking all these people. I'm not going to name names. They're 98% of everyone who sits on Congress or sits in the Senate is absolutely, positively corrupt shitbags. They are public servants who get rich. Imagine this, getting rich of being a servant of the public. Uh, does no one see the problem with this? In the military, we see combat, we go overseas, we serve our country, we serve the public, we serve our people, we fight with our lives for how, you know how much we make? Less than a dollar a day. We get meals that are like, meh. Barracks meals aren't the greatest. Most of the time I just bought my own groceries. I stuffed them in a little tiny mini fridge that I got given to me. We're not rich. The Marines aren't rich. Unless you get to a certain rank, you're still not rich. You're somewhat better off, but you're not rich. You go to war. You die for your country. Your family will get $400,000 if you die. That's it. Joe Biden's son just got $3.5 million from Russia for what? His family members didn't go risk their lives. I don't, I don't understand this. We have literally, this is my opinion of politics. We have a class of people who think they are our rulers. They think they, right now, everybody who's a politician in Washington believes that they're their own class of royalty. When did America start bowing to royals? When we start fucking worshipping these people like they're some kind of higher beings. They're not. They're public servants. Their job is to serve. That's it. Yet they get f their own airplanes. They get million dollar mansions. They get... Every single one of their family gets government contracts. And they get rich off of us. Democrats and Republicans. Why doesn't America see right through this bullshit? On both sides, we should both be calling out. They, if if this country really wanted the truth, I we should demand the FBI investigate every single person sitting in Congress, fully. And if any of their family members have been getting any government assistance or any government jobs, they should be fired and put in jail. And every single dollar that their fucking pieces of shit make, 
should be given back to the, the people. I don't understand why we're allowing, like, uh, fucking some of these politicians who have husbands who are in construction getting the best and greatest, you know, government contracts. Absolutely not. They should never get government contracts. They should never be able to apply for any kind of government aid. They should get a free housing. Yes, I would give them free public housing. Shit hu housing. You're a servant of the people, not their leader. You're not, you're not a ruler. You're a servant. Your job is to serve. The American people rule in America. So why is the people who are supposed to serve us sitting in golden mansions and eating million dollar meals while working class people have to suffer? Why? Why? Because we have a corrupt system. I don't like everything Trump's done. I don't like his whole thing with the peace deal he's making with terrorists. We don't, we should never make peace with fucking terrorists. You don't sit down with terrorists, terrorists die, and that's it. The only good terrorist is a dead fucking terrorist. Period. You don't try to make deals with fucking the Taliban. That shit, no. Fuck no. You find them, you hunt them down, you kill them. Every one of them. I don't care if it takes another 20 fucking years. We don't make peace with terrorists. I don't know about the Proud Boys. I know a lot of people are pissed off what he said about the White Springs, but he's been saying he's against White Springs since the day he got in office. How many times, more times he got to say it? But I want to ask, why did Joe Biden get asked why he's, is he stand against any kind of racism, including BLM and Antifa? Does he stand against domestic terrorists who are burning down cities? Sorry for my yelling, but I'm fucking pissed. Because we have a bunch of people going, oh, Trump's such a bad guy. Well, they praise fucking Biden, whose son is getting money from Russia. Where's that investigation? Oh, oh, I saw the little clip where Biden's like, oh, I've been doing me, 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 me. It's like, shut up, Biden. You know you're fucking corrupt, you piece of shit. 98% of those people in office are absolutely corrupt. They should not be able to buy a fucking mansion after a couple years in office. They should get... You want to know where Kamala Harris and all those pieces of shit should be? In public housing in the worst part of their sit districts. They should have an apartment building in the, da the... The mayor of Chicago should have to live in a fucking apartment on the south side of Chicago so she could see the crime, she could live with the people. That way, when people ask her, what are you going to do about the fucking rapist, drug dealing fucking gang members? She can go, well, those are my neighbors. Instead of saying, well, you know, I live in a mansion on the outside of Chicago. So I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, and if rioters try to attack my town or my, my city block, I'll make sure the police actually do stuff. Instead of ordering them to stand down. How does that feel, America? That your business, especially you who are business owners, Small business owners who are, just want to live your life. Where fucking people who are supposed to be your protectors are allowing, telling police to leave you, to walk away from people burning down your businesses and your neighborhoods. Because they're mad because a criminal died. I don't give a fuck about the criminals getting killed. Oh, I'm sorry, that might be... In. No, I don't... Should there be an investigation? Yes. Should they be investigated the police department who might kill them? No, there should be accountability but that's already there they don't want accountability what they want is a narrative BLM is a fucking terrorist the organization you can support black lives I think all lives should be equal no one should be above each other and just like Michael you know fucking oh my god what happened huh Martin Luther King Jr's dream of not being about skin color, but of being about personal responsibility. That's what he said, for each indiv individual personal responsibility. That means if a guy commits a crime, tries to fight the cops and dies, it's not because he was black, it was because he tried to kill a cop. And if a cop is dirty and gets caught and dies, maybe when he's doing an investigation or he kills somebody and they find out he's a dirty ass cop, he gets to it in trial and put in jail, just like anybody else. It's called personal responsibility, people. It's called fucking common sense. 
Instead, we have people who only want power. They want power over you. They want power over me. You know how they get it? Because we're too stupid to see through it. Half the country's like, yeah, Antifa's great. No, they're not. They're fucking domestic terrorists who are getting paid by foreign, rich, and political people for one reason, one reason only, control. Because it's easy to control people with fear. The same people who control the media. Media are absolutely the enemy of the pe American people. They are a... I am ashamed. I'm a Marine who fought, almost died several times for my country. I've lost good friends, brothers. I am ashamed of our media. Our media is the most garbage piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. Every single one, from Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, all of them. They all are political, one-sided, disgusting pieces of shit. Every single person who sits down at that fucking table and goes, me, has not the truth. They don't want truth, okay? What they want is a narrative to be pushed one side or the other, and it's dividing the American people further and further and further away. Why? Because the more divided we are, the people in power, who know they're going to stay in power because they have the CIA and fucking other organizations making sure the American people don't know they're fucking corrupt, to hide the corruption. You really want to tell me that Clintons haven't murdered fucking multiple people to keep their power and their well being caught? Please. They probably have the CIA doing it for them because they're too, you know, the CIA is making sure government doesn't look bad. Please. The debate last night was a joke. But everybody knows it. Come on. You think the commentator was on the side of one sided person? He doesn't have any fucking. He's not. I would. If it was me. If it was me sitting there with Biden and Trump, I'd have given both hard a action. I would have asked him about his. I would ask Biden straight up about his son's corruption and why he thinks it's okay that his son gets away with being in money from Russia and getting all these foreign deals. He's a public servant. His son is a direct relative. Why is his son getting foreign anything? There should be laws that say your direct rural, anyone who is in public office, any of their immediate family members will never get foreign or government jobs or contracts Period. Period. And if they do, they get arrested for corruption. And that's exactly what this is. It's all these political people getting the political power. And then they put their family members into certain special spots. And foreign and all kinds of stuff. Hey, husband, you work over here. I'll make sure all my government contracts go to you. So we have a giant mansion. So whenever I fucking retire, after 40 years of being a corrupt piece of shit, instead of getting four, if a president only has eight eight years, uh, Congress should only get half that. Senate should only get half that. And it should be always, you get that long and you're done. It, done. There is no more. You can't ever get that seat again. You run, you get it. Four years, you're out. And you're out. That's it. Go become a mayor. But you're still being watched the same laws that apply to mayors should also apply to people in federal government. Absolutely. Your family members get no government position. They get no government aid. They get no government housing unless it's like the cheapest shit your government can come up with. I, it's government housing. It's cheapest shit. Not mansions. Period. I, we shouldn't have private security for our fucking governors or private security for a fucking Senate. Paid by the American people's tax money. That should be going to us. Roads are shit. If you ever drove over American roads, half our roads are absolute trash. So why is our taxpayer money, which is supposed to pay for our roads, paying for our roads? I'll tell you why, because it's getting funneled into their bank accounts. There needs to be laws. They are sit down and say, hey, they need to do it now. They need to have somebody who cuts into power, sits down and says, hey, by the way, I we're making a new team of the FBI. One that 
constantly and absolutely investigates every single person who sits in power all day long. That's their job to investigate every single person in Congress and in Senate everywhere. Every governor, every mayor, every family member of those of those people. If they see any kind of corruption, immediate job loss. They are immediately expelled from their seat. If they take a dollar, a fucking dollar that's not theirs, they're gone. And they will spend up to 10 years in federal prison. How about that? How we fucking enforce that shit? Then you won't see the fucking corruption we know is there on both sides. Don't give me, don't give me this fucking bullshit where you're like, well, the Democrats are great people. They love us. Really? Look at every Democratic city in this country right now. It's all on fire. And you know what their mayors are doing? Nothing until it affects them. Look at Portland. She let half her city be burned constantly in riots, constantly, until they, what, infected her property? And as soon as she knew it would come after her property, she shut him down. Nobody saw that? He goes, hey, wait a minute. Uh, how oh, fuck you. I don't understand why the working class of America is allowing this shit. We should be, don't riot in your cities. Don't go to your towns. Go and remove these people from office. Go to Congress. Stand for the Congress and demand that they step down. Say, hey, you know, I keep saying Kamala Harris because she's one of the main ones. Hey, Kamala Harris, and tell our neighborhoods no longer have drug and needles and shit all over the fucking streets. You don't get to go to Washington and sit in your fucking mansions and your parlors and your fucking $100,000 meals. You're going to go sit in our streets. You're going to sit and work with our people to clean up this shit. You think the cops are fucking have people investigating the police departments. Make new groups who are separate from the police departments whose only job is to investigate each and every incident to make sure that they're not corrupt cops. How about that? I think that's fair. Instead of, hey, we're going to just get rid of cops. And replace them with what? Private security? <laughs> You're really going to replace cops with private security. Who only give a shit about who pays them. Well, that's it. They're just people who are they're mercenaries. Private security are pretty much mercenaries. They care about who pays them and that's it. If you're an outsider of who pays them, they don't give a shit about you. Period. Why do you think things like freaking... I can't think of the name right now. Was it Blackwater got kicked out of Iraq for stealing and murdering people? <laughs> Anyways, I know this is a weird video, but this is my rant. These fucking idiots just watching this shit happen. And it's like, it's okay. Because they believe in my politics. They, they What they do is they brainwash you with their politics. They say, hey... Trust us. We have your. We we are one of you. Like uh, Kamala Harris claimed that she was a. Uh, what is she? She they claimed that she would be the first black lady to be a vice president, and she, they find out she's not even black. Uh, come on. Fucking Hillary Clinton carrying around hot sauce in her purse. Because she, uh, she wants to identify with black people. Seriously? This is who you elect? And why they hate Trump so much? Yeah, Trump has his issues. He's an asshole. He doesn't talk very pretty. He doesn't have the greatest lines. He doesn't act like he should be who's presidential. You know what? who should be president? People with military records. Generals. Guys who know how to lead. Men. Who know the military. Because commander-in-chief of the military should be run by someone who understands the military. That's my... That, that's what I think. Someone who has served. Who knows the sacrifices people have made for the country. And under, loves the people of this country. But will also take on both the Congress and the Senate. And tell them to shut the fuck up and work for the American people. Because that's their job. Instead, they sit around in a room just debating for like hours of like... Why are you not inclusive?
big tech companies, why do you not have more women than men? Instead of, hey, why are streets covering shit? Why are people's businesses being burned down and nothing happening to those people? They caught what? Guys making bombs? They've caught God knows. There are people out there who have one purpose in their life and they have a rich. And that purpose is to destroy the American people and divide us. Absolutely. And they own the media. They do. They got people in place. They got people everywhere. And what they do is they use their money and their influence to pe people in power who are their bitches. And they know they have them because they're corrupt. And they know that they're, they'll do anything to keep their little, keep their paycheck. That, that tax money that's supposed to go to back to us to keep our roads clean, to make sure we're safe and our businesses are secure and not have to worry about stuff like that because that's our job. Our job is to do what we want to do, you know, live our lives. The government's supposed to make sure we can live our lives without worrying about foreign invaders, somebody coming burning down my business because he's pissed off that some fucking reason. I don't give a shit what your fucking reasons are. That guy who owned that business did nothing to you. You don't have no right to burn his fucking place down or assault people who are eating dinner. Yeah, I've seen him. I've seen those videos where the people are just trying to eat dinner, trying to have a good time. BLM shows up and just starts throwing their tables over. Like, you have to demand. We demand that you go, Meh. fuck you. You have no right to demand anything. Go Fuck yourself. This is a free fucking country. We can do what we want, when we want, where we want, as long as we don't infringe on other people's rights. And right now, the people who are infringing on other people's rights are BLM and Antifa. Fuck the terrorists. They have a motive. They have political motivity. What they want is people in political power to make sure that they and their leadership get the benefits. That's all it's about is power and they use idiots who think that they're doing a good cause you know hell you ever heard that that uh that quote hell is paid with good intentions the way to hell is paid with good intentions yeah it is because no matter how good your intention are it could be used for fucking evil all it takes is a guy who think who sits up there and goes hey you know uh some people are oppressed right now. Would you like to get back at them? Hey, aren't you angry? How we folk, There are people out there who are angry, who are desperate, who are trying to figure out where their lives are. We are we've all been there. I've been there. I've lived on couches. I've lived literally eating crackers for months because that's all I could get. And I literally was living off a friend's couch because that's all I could do, bouncing between couches. Sorry about that. I know this is a rant. It's because I'm pissed. Because I'm seeing, I'm watching all these groups, especially the people in politics, who are like, look, Trump's a racist. See, he said Proud Boys. All right, fine. Yes, Trump did, should not have said, I don't know anything about the Proud Boys. I've seen pictures of the Proud Boys, and I've seen people who are black, Mexican, and white, all in the Proud Boy pictures with American flags. So I don't know. Maybe... There are some sex, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. But I do know Blaine and Lamb and Antifa. I've watched what they've been doing. I watched them tear entire neighborhoods apart. I've watched them burn down apartment buildings of people who have nothing. I know someone who lives in Chicago who's on YouTube. I'm not going to say his name, but now has to drive a lot further to go get groceries because they burned down every grocery store around him and looted them. He's a black guy trying to find a place to eat because they destroyed everything. And it's not because of one cop. It's because they get away with it. They saw, they see an opportunity, see an anger. And what they do is they use that anger to take advantage of people. You know, people stealing shoes out of fucking a shoe store or really doing it because of Black Lives Matter? No, because they want to steal those damn shoes. And they don't have to worry about paying for it. <coughs> and they don't have to worry about getting any consequences because... People are too afraid to stand up to them. Congratulations. Government, you allowed a section of a small group, because BLM is not a very big organization. It's a small organization who is using their 
political influence and the people who are in power, because they want to stay in power, who are using a bunch of people who are just down in their luck, having problems, trying to get away, and then they're saying, hey, you know whose problem is? It's that guy! Instead of, hey, you know whose real problem is? It's the guy in the Congress who's your section of the city he's supposed to take care of. Instead, he's taking care of his own wallet. And he's giving you crumbs. He's like, look, here's some crumbs. Good, good pets. How does that make you feel? That's it. <sighs> I hate politics. I really do. This is why I was I was in the military. You know what the military hate more than anything? Politicians. I've seen more times where I've had a captain or someone higher up sit down next to us and go, one loses his mind because he had to deal with politicians for hours. And he's like, God damn it. How many times a media would show up and our guys would be like, fuck. All we need is some media guy trying to like tell us, you know, twist what we're doing for their own political fucking meaning. It happens all the time. I've been there. I've literally been in situations where uh, media was saying that one of my convoys was destroyed when it was an, an older footage they redone because they were trying to get, you know, clout. Fucking the media has been lying since God knows when. And two people are too stupid to see through it. And the media gets the way because they go, well, how dare you? We are here for the people. No, no, you're not. Media isn't for the people. Therefore, a certain sect of people to keep them up here. And guess who those people up here are? The people who own the media. And those people who are benef directly being benefited from those people up there. So, yeah. This is what it is. Am I going to vote for Trump? Yes. Why? Because he's an outsider. He's not a politician. He's the best guy in the world now. But uh, he's better than Joe Biden and fucking Kilmer Harris getting into power because that's all we fucking need is Joe Blow to get into power because that guy's a fucking god. That guy has no spine. You watch the debate, he's like, mur, mur, mur. no, I'd rather have an asshole than the spineless clout and have some to face Russia. You think Biden's going to take on Putin? Putin's going to smack him out like a bitch. He's going to be like, hey, hey, Biden, come here. Here, here suck my dick. Biden's going to be like, uh, should I lick your balls too? Yes. You're going to lick his balls. Because you have no spine. Kilma Harris. That chick will probably take a blow from him and have sex with him because that's who she is. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for being here. I know I like talking about pop culture. I hate politics. I hate Washington. I think the most disgusting thing in our country right now is Washington, D.C. And all the people sit on the Congress and sit and I think they're absolutely corrupt. I think they really need someone to come in who sits down on new laws. This says, hey, you know what? You only get 40 years and you don't get to benefit from anyone. Period. You are our servants. Alright, my phone's about to overheat, so thank you all for coming. Be safe. Be good to each other, fuck it. Behave. Have fun. Be healthy. Alright? See y'all later. Bye.